Immortals, I'm Jensen and welcome back to Remnants Dark Horizon DLC. Oh my god, this game has kind of kicked off a bit of a binge for me. In the previous episode, I can't remember what we were specifically doing, I think we were just kind of like seeing the game for the first time, weren't we? I went back into the game in my private time and I went in as a brand new character and I started playing around uh, the game a little bit. We've got a different outloading for this kind of instance right here. I am now using the cube gun because I remember wanting to really love this thing Unfortunately, it didn't really give us a lot of love as a reciprocation, so it could kind of suck. We'll use it for a little bit. Uh, we'll see just how much it actually does suck. Wow, that is deep. And then we'll kind of cast aspersions afterwards. How does that sound? I think to me that sounds pretty good, actually. So I kind of had the realization that we played most of this game with almost exclusively just the Enigma gun, which is the one I keep calling the Tesla gun. It's because it's kind of OP. I think everybody knows that it's kind of OP. Oh, hello there. This thing could be really, really cool, but it also could not be. All right, now I haven't practiced this guy whatsoever. So let's just go ahead and use our beams against him. And he's gonna do a second one, I think. No, he's only gonna do a first one. I was mixing it up with the boss we fought in the previous episode, right? So the boss we fought in the previous episode was a bit of a turd, gotta be said. Whoops. Okay, we missed one hit with these guys and we are dead. Isn't that insane? I feel like it's a little bit insane. Okay, good. So that is golden. We'll keep on trying to charge this at him. Whoops, try to charge that. Try to charge the old sandstorm at him, but it didn't quite take. I just jumped through that. Excellent. Jumped through that as well. And whoop, got him. So those guys, after we have fought the last boss, gotta be said, they're not actually all that bad. I don't think. I don't I don't find them to actually be that bad. Now, I do want to go ahead, go back home, and we want to uh, upgrade this here cube gun. Because I think that this could potentially be great. What the hell is this? We can interact with this dildo. Can we interact with all these dildos? Whoa, okay. Hey there, buddy. Uh, this might not be good. I don't know why he did that. Is he ours? Ah, okay, so he's not out. We are actually- Oh, piss off, seriously. What? Okay, we took a lot of damage for some reason. I'm gonna go ahead and try throw out something. Why does he have technology so- Do you think he's a part of the Narud? Okay, we died. I feel like the ghosts are actually antonym to the machinery here. I feel like there's actually two factions at play here. One of them is ghosts and the other one is actually some kind of machinery. So the ghosts could potentially be the Drazir or just the Nerudian locals. Cause I do remember in the base game, there was a section of Nerud that were ghosts. I just wasn't entirely sure if it was the area that was haunted or the things, but it could actually be the release of the souls from actual creations. He seems to prioritize destroying the machinery over us, though. So that's definitely something to take into consideration. We'll come all the way through here. We probably have to go and fight that special again, which is a little bit annoying, but... Ah, it's fine, actually. It's fine. This gun here actually kind of kicks its ass. Okay, dodge sideways. And then keep on firing away at it. Okay, didn't want to be caught in that whatsoever. Good. Is he going to jump? No, nope, apparently not. All right, go through that. Because what the hell is he going to do otherwise? All right, he's going to throw out his gas. And now he's going to do a jump. Yep. And then he's going to pop it. Good. We're doing the old Miley Cyrus technique. Pop it, lock it, poke it, dot it. Country fight and hip hop it. And I only know those lyrics because I have two little sisters. I promise. We're going to pop out one of those bad boys. And then we're going to see if we can't just use this gun. Oh, so... Right! We can actually use the sandstorms above ground, which is fantastic. I adore that so much. Where'd you jump out of that? Didn't have a choice. What the hell is that? I have no idea. What is going on? Oh, there is another ghost. Hey, buddy. What's your deal? All right, reload our gun, of course. He's firing a couple of bolts at us. Is that him there? No, there is another ghost. There he is. Oh, right beside us. Probably going to do a big scream, which he's doing right now. Excellent. I'm using his health bar to figure out where he is to triangulate him, I suppose. Ah, oh, damn it, we got hit by that. Didn't want to be hit by that either. Okay, we did it. So, what do we get out of... Anything? Oh, we destroyed a bunch of crops. That doesn't feel good. In fact, that's probably actually a, a bad thing. Why did we destroy these crops? Why'd we do that? 
That was so malicious. I, I don't think we should have done that, uh, to be quite honest. So we basically completely polished off this area. That led back up to the place we don't want to go now. And we kind of want to go underneath the buildings ar around down here now, don't we? I think there's also kind of like a, a cavern we can go through down that way. But I don't really think it's completely necessary for us. We're probably not actually going to make that. Yeah, we are. Of course we're going to make that. I think I see some rude dudes just kind of like standing over there though. So we're going to have to be a, a little bit cautious down here. Hello! It is I! Jensen, have you subbed? No, you have not! Die! They haven't subbed. Oh, hello there, buddy. Okay, let's go and sweep through that. I actually... That guy is really, really similar to another guy over on Yeisha. Okay, we got hit by that one fair and square. Fair enough. Whoa! Damn it, that ain't good. Uh, that's really bad. Yeah, they're definitely using kind of like labyrinthian techniques against us. So I noticed that while editing the previous episode that some of the enemies here have labyrinthian movesets, which is very unusual because I'm not entirely sure how that's going to tie in to what we've got. Also, I figured out what the hell these are, these relic fragments. The game actually updated to be a little bit better with its fragments, because you used to have to attach a fragment to a gun, which was a, a little bit of a shame. This is the menu now. So you collect a fragment, and whatever the fragment value was worth, it'll add it to this little score over here. You can slot three fragments. This is one we want, uh, solid range damage. That is very cash money. There is polished melee damage, meh, solid mod damage. So the solid thing, I think that's just the tier at which we are currently using it at. So mod damage plus three, that'd be increased mod damage to 3%, which would be kind of nice, actually. This one here is range critical chance. We definitely want that one. Range firing rate, meh. Fire and charge time, meh. Total melee attack speed, meh. Skill damage, could be okay. There's one for movement damage. Health bonus, armor bonus, shield amount, healing effectiveness. It was down here in the blue ones. Uh, gray health, yuck. Stamina bonus, yuck. Evade distance, meh. Revive speed, yuck. Damage reduction, yuck. Oh, mod duration would actually be really, really cool with mod duration because like mod increase in damage is nice and all but the i think that the best thing that we could have is actually just going to be the mod duration okay we're, we may fall into the water here but i don't think we're close enough oh perfect boy fit okay they're actually hitting us on top of this which is pretty funny actually uh, i'm running let's fire off our special what a wanker! What an actual wanker! Alright, that sandstorm does a kick-ass amount of damage. I think I just heard a bomb of some sort. Okay, sandstorm is crushing it. Slay Queen! Good old Darude special move there. So this looks like a kind of like an intermediary stop between two other areas I see on the map that there are kind of like areas that we can go to. Uh, this will do nothing for us. If we pick this up, that actually gave us nothing because our mods are broken. What's in here? What is this? Looks like an elevator of some sort. Is it going down or up? Hopefully up. Yeah, I thought it would be. So this is going to lead us up into another platform, which should allow us to open another door to transit down here, right? Yeah, here we go. So we've already seen one of these doors before. Ah, and we're right next to a checkpoint as well, which is actually fantastic. So that's awesome. We could go and upgrade the cube gun. I kind of want to. I'm going to go ahead and open this chest over here first, and then we'll... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll find the repair lab. God, I forgot how needy that wanker is. Let's go in here. So, cube gun could potentially be really, really cool. I think the cube gun right now... How its mechanics work is it's got five rounds in a magazine, and if you fire them at an enemy, it'll... Keep on firing, and every time you land a shot, it adds one of those shots back to your man magazine. But we could potentially stick a nice mod on it. Dealing 50% of the attached weapon's magazine. Base damage increases reload speed. That's useless. We don't reload it. Harmonizer. Attached mod. It deals 15% additional mod damage. Now, we can actually up, uh, set out a shield. So the special for the cube gun is not amazing. Increases range damage of this weapon by 1.5% for every 2.5 meters from the target to the shooter. That's actually pretty good. We'll use that one instead. That looks absolutely fantastic, actually. I'd like to upgrade my cube gun, please. This one right here. Good. And we'll just keep on upgrading this bad boy until we can't upgrade it anymore. We need more luminite so crystals, nice. which is absolutely fine. We'll wait until later to get those. How much damage does it do now? It does 27 per hit, which is actually pretty substantial. That is twice as much as the Tesla gun is. 
but it doesn't branch any shots off. We won't waste too much time just faffing around with the actual transit itself. I know what you guys want to see in this game, and it sure as hell isn't running around the map doing nothing. Okay, I'll take a look at the map. Uh, I'm actually going to go back down, and we're going to see if we can't figure out how to get to those other two locations from this little downwards platform here. I'm gonna go ahead and use the cube gun for this next fight and we'll see if it's actually, if it's actually viable. All right, cube gun, do your work. Damn! Damn, that is potent. I didn't even see that one coming, holy hell. I love this for us. Uh, stinky cloud. Okay, excuse me, sir. I don't wanna be hit by any of these. We are still using the gunfire game, Lanyard. Sorry, uh, the black ring, I, I think it's cool. Good, get him, get him, and get him. Excellent, we didn't miss a single shot, and thus we didn't lose a single round. Yep, there's another one up here. What happens if we do? Okay, so... We're gonna go ahead and just fire into this thing, as much as the overheat will allow. That was actually quite potent. I like that. Uh, it appears as though Doggo is engaged with another enemy. Damn, these things' shields are absolutely just terrible. Okay, fires two of those orbs. There we go, nice. Okay, I'm liking the cube gun a lot more than I was before. To be quite honest, I didn't like it much when we first played with it. Gotta be said, I thought it kind of sucked. So, with this way we could go eventually down there, and there is an enemy down there. And there's something up there, something up there. We could also go this way into these hopping platforms, which I'm gonna do. I'm actually doing it right this second. What the hell is this thing, and why am I going towards it? This is an awful, awful, awful idea. Okay, it's got a lot of health, actually. That's kind of annoying. Uh, I'm pretty sure that thing does, like, caustic damage to us as well. Yeah, I didn't know when that thing was going to fire off this disgusting beam. Let's use that laser weapon against these guys, because it's a bit more potent. And they seem to have projectiles. Okay, not as potent against those guys. I think the cube gun is probably best against the machinery. Let's, let's try this out. Okay, good. And we are golden. It does actually do significantly more damage the further from an enemy we are. It's pretty awesome. So I'm starting to see the motivation here, which is that if you are missing your shots, it'll probably take longer for the ammo to be reloaded into the magazine. Holy hell. Yeah, I'll say. All right, what else is down here? Not a huge amount because the uh, mini-map is being blocked by a bunch of different crap. Sorry? Is that a Nihilus Scan Scan complete. Member of House Lithla recognized. I've been awaiting your arrival. What? You've come to dismantle me. No, I haven't. The beauty of the supernovae, rent in twain, collapsed again. The cosmic goodbye. It's a poetic robot. Uh, maybe it's because we're in the technician armor. Because Why would I, I do that? My mission. I am an exoplanet surveyor intelligence serial number 1074-S3, dubbed Spark by my creator. Internal huh. diagnostics indicate that I'm experiencing lack of fulfillment, severe pessimism, and intense overwhelming sensations of inadequacy. Aren't we all? I'm a failure. Suggested action is dismantlement. I refuse. Absolutely not. Uh, there, there. I'm sure you're not a complete failure. Correct. My status is currently categorized as catastrophic failure. <laughs> Fair abyss, aloft with stardust and burning, endless night. Go forth, rove forth, into that dying light. Clarification. It means I was created to explore and catalog inhabited planets. Was that Edgar Allan Poe? also equipped with a fabrication chamber to analyze scavenged alien materials and integrate them with Nerudian technology. But I've yet to catalog a single civilization. I'm a waste of creation and machines who do not fulfill their purpose are scrapped and recycled. Or perish in the abandon, the sweet abysmal end. Departed, waylaid, dead. <laughs> hey babe, sorry, I've just got this emo robot at me quoting Edgar Allan Poe while he talks about uh, it being dismantled. <laughs> Metal. <laughs> that tickled the inset. Uh, what's with all the poetry? The verses are attributed to the great poet Koza. Her words explain my thoughts when my social programming proves inadequate. I'm deeply, deeply inadequate. Or else I would have cataloged an alien civilization by now. You know, I'm from another planet. Do you wanna do you wanna catalog me? Calculating. This statement suggests that you evolved elsewhere, and your vitals do not indicate that you're lying. 
Please tell me about your home planet. I must catalog its name. Do you like birds? Uh, home. It's f home to a very resilient people. Well, not anymore, it's not. Earth! It was nearly destroyed by monsters. It currently is actually being destroyed by monsters. Earth! We're fish people. That's probably, that's probably the most honest statement we could make. Because we did evolve from the ocean. Allegedly. Allegedly. I see you, massive, uh, die-hard Christians, accidentally sneaking a look on someone else's phone because you're the kind of people who don't have technology. We are- we did come from the ocean. Aquatic bipeds. But how do you swim with those limbs? You must be very different from the Drazir. Yep. I'd like to meet the people of Orth. It's Earth! Not Orth, you dumbass! Apologies. My language processor has not been updated regularly. I hope my faulty intelligence did not offend you. Ah, In not the least. I would like to meet the people of Earth. Okay, would you like to go to Earth with me? Yes, very much. Spare not darkness nor threat of ages eons. Hold no fear in the face, the open jaws of our creator. I'm Need regretting this. I can't leave Nerud right now. Ah, oh, yes. A strange voice overwrote my current operation. I must keep going around and around this sector. Again and again. Why? What if I get rid of the voice? Processing. I would regain control of my protocol. Then I could go with you. While you fulfill your mission, I'll be here. Or over there. Or elsewhere. I suspect that we're about to gain the Warden Archetype, which I'm pretty sure in the first episode I said, uh, who cares? But now I'm starting to realize we might actually get a second companion. Doggo is the best thing in the game that has ever happened to us, and I'm pretty sure we started with him. I also started the, uh, a brand new game as well as the Prospector. No, Adventurer. Which is kind of like, uh, you, you beat the game once, you unlock that. It's literally the only unmissable class in the game. The other ones, you have to actually know which vendor sells the required item, then you need to go to the guy who crafts the item, and you need to craft it. With the Adventurer, you just need to beat the game, then you need to craft it at the crafting item. Oh. I want to find out. This is the, um, this is, this is where that guy wanted to be taken, isn't it? You remember the guy, right? What was his name? I'm pretty sure he had a name in the, the inventory. Here he is, right here. His name is Prototype Head. Decapitated Prototype Head. Which is, um, I would not name a child that. <laughs> to be quite honest. Imagine going all through your first 18 years of childhood with the name Decapitated Prototype Head. I think Elon Musk could probably vibe it, but uh, no, I'm not. I'm. I'm not into that. I'm not into that. I don't really like any kind of implication of harming children in any way, shape, or form. Hello. Hello there. I'm going to kill you now. Oh, I think he only got one off before Doggo just bit him. Damn. This laser beam kicks us. Oh, Doggo's bleeding these guys. What the hell? What? The Why? Don't do that. Wait, wait, who do you think you are? Crabs. I feel like we've just stepped into Alien Romulus. God, that was such a good movie. I went to go see it. It was the first Alien movie that I've definitely thought I didn't think needs a sequel. God, it was so good. Every single plot piece was completely tied off. It was directed by Sigourney Weaver, who was in the first four Alien uh, films. The only thing that I was a little bit disappointed about with Alien Prometheus was that when the Promethean baby who was blended with the Xenomorph came out of the mother, also spoilers, I was disappointed that it wasn't the Predator, the f like the first Predator that came out of the mother, looked at his, his parents and then thought, oh, this is what the aliens are doing to humans. I'm going to dedicate my entire existence to killing aliens. And, and that was kind of like the birth of the Predator. You know, the alien versus Predator, that, that kind of Predator. With Arnold Schwarzenegger. You got to cover yourself in mud. That that kind of stuff. Like, that was super cool. And if you just, like, came out of the womb and screamed, and it, it just happened to be that that iteration of our universe was, like, 3,000 years ago, way, way off somewhere else, and we just kind of colonized here, that would have been, um... I would have preferred that more. But it, it, for once, I've come up with a headcanon in film or music or TV or anything that I'm actually happy did not meet my immediate expectations. Like there was a Charlie Puff song, um, Empty Cups, I think. When I first heard that, I thought that he was saying, you man, these empty carbs, which is really funny if you've ever like uh, done PT or, or something like that. 
Uh, we can activate this. There's a guy down there. I don't know what the hell that's... There's a couple of guys down there. Huh. So I thought that his song was all about him just, like, talking about how wasteful it is to just drink lots and lots of alcohol for the sake of drinking lots and lots of alcohol. You know, empty carbs. Alcohol is actually the densest macronutrient that you can have. There's, um, fats... No, lipids. Not fats. Fats are, um, a combination of things. Fats! Proteins, carbohydrates are the three macro ingredient uh, nutrients that you can have. And uh, alcohol is two grams heavier than uh, the average carbohydrate, so it's its own category, hilariously. Okay, can we go through here? Apparently. I mean, the light's on. Hello? Oh, we're probably on the wrong side of it, to be honest. All right, that's got to be the repair lab, right? I know we can go down. Can we actually go down there? I saw there's like an entrance on the other side of this room. Oh, we can. It's not on the map, though. Strange. Oh, it is now. Okay, thank you, game. All right, looks like there's a lot of robots in here. What the hell is that? Sorry, some of the uh, space carbon fiber is, is undulating, strangely, which would indicate that there's significant airflow through here, but I, I can see all the dirt kind of like floating around, and I know that there is no significant... Oh my god, where the hell are we? What is this mess? I'm, I'm, I'm putting down a special. Okay, get rid of that one. Good! Excellent, there's uh, another Wasserman Dingle right there. What the hell? Get away from me, sir! Okay, Doggo can get us up, and he will. Love that. This guy's putting up a shield. Whoa, and he shot his shield at us. Like the cube gun that we have right here. This thing's special, by the way. I, I will show you. I will show you what the special is. As soon as we encounter another enemy. That isn't that thing. I hear another enemy. There it is. Boom! That is the Labyrinthian special for the cube gun. We should probably actually use cube gun because it's got an infinite ammo. We'll kind of like save all of our big beefy gun a little bit, I think. What the hell is that? Okay, got another thing coming after us. Whoa, this cube gun's actually quite potent against them. I think it has as much efficacy as the laser beam, which is amazing. Yeah, take that. <laughs> it was dancing at us. To, uh, I think it was a show of dominance and we absolutely showed it what's what, didn't we? All right, what's down here? What is this? Who, who are we fighting in here? I mean, we can always just figure it out, right? We'll go in there. Uh, that's obviously the way out. Let's just go through. Okay, we're gonna activate this here platform. Where's it gonna take us? Downwards, gorgeous. Let's look up so that we don't miss a secret door or something like that. There were a couple of like scorch marks on the wall that we could probably use to our advantage. Ah, sure. I, I like how we were supposed to be caught off guard by that, and yet it was my first, it was my first thought that this was not what it seems. And nothing in there, nothing in here at all. I hear enemies, nothing in there. Hello! This is obviously an arena. Oh, piss. Is that gonna be lasers? I feel like it's gonna be a laser beam. Okay, there's one guy down here. What does it say? Fills me with a sense of uneasiness being here. The noxious gas in this chamber is fatal if one is exposed to it for too long. What noxious gas? One chance? wrong move and the gas will be released. This whole chamber into a crypt. I have to be careful. Uh -oh. Still, the danger makes it an eerily peaceful place. I thought as much when I was first assigned to maintenance work here. Why am I always the one tasked with the most dangerous work? I used to resent it until I had a realization. You're the only one this who's afraid. It gives me ample opportunity to be on my own. To think things I'm not supposed to think. Ah, he was a psycho. If we will ever leave this ship, do the astropaths truly know where they're taking us? Is there other life out there? Or is that just a delusion we've clung to for so long we can't let go of it? What is my own purpose, separate from that of the Drazir? Do I have one? No. Who is the creator? Where is the creator? In the back rooms! These are the things I wonder out here on my own. I don't suppose I'll ever find the answers. That oh, well, sucks to be him. Anyway, let's charge through, because there's only one way we can actually go. Wait, does that curse? What is this noxious gas? Oh, piss! I did not see that one coming! Okay. It seems like they have some kind of affinity to this place. Wait, I think because I'm in the technician gear, I'm not actually getting caught. Never mind, I'm getting caught in it. 
Okay, we don't want to be caught in that gap because it sucks ass, it seems. Like, it's actually a bit of an ass sucker. Uh, let's go ahead and fire a... Sp oh, we don't have the special. We'll use a huge death beam right there. Because we don't really have much of a choice in the matter. Good. And that crab can get death beamed as well. As long as we don't get gassed, I am happy. See? I'm smiling! Okay, the gas is coming. Only two of them before he gives up. Let's run! Don't guess me now, I'm having such a good time. I'm having a ball, I don't guess me now. If you wanna have a good time, don't breathe in the gas. Don't guess me now. It should have been the um the theme song for World War One, right? Okay, we don't have a choice but to go through. Ah! I think I just dodged that as well. Ow, both of those hit, unfortunately. Good. Uh, there is nothing down there, so I'm not actually going to try and grab anything. Do we survive the gas? I don't know. <laughs> the game won't tell me. There's one guy just down there. I'm just going to blast him with my booms. Okay, never mind. It seems like we're getting gas from all sides. Right. Eat this. Take two of those and call me in the morning. Nice. Dodge me. Great. Death beam. Another way. All right, great. Death Beam is actually pulling a clutch right here. We've got an enemy above us. Well, had an enemy above us right there. Great. Okay, so that functioned exactly as we wanted it to. There's nothing over there. There's more gas there that we can climb through if we were stupid. Okay, we're a bit stupid. Boy. Okay. Go ahead and climb up here. Good. Ho, 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 ho. Wowee. Look at that. I found the emergency switch. That's... Is that you? Is that handy? Okay, good. Took him out. Let's continue on through down, it seems, at the slowest fall humanly possible. All right, that guy has to go. Excellent. Consistent damage over time. Actually does seem to be pulling the clutch through. What? What do you mean? Bring! Oh, piss. Not like this. Okay, good. I'm going to fire a... Okay, I didn't fire anything, but we did dodge his, his two attacks. Okay, you can have this, because I don't want that anymore. It's all yours, buddy old pal. Great! Let's grab the ammunition, and we are getting it out of here! Okay, perfect. So, where did we end up? At a completely new area! Wunderbar! As they say, amongst sarcastic thoughts. Oh, hello. Okay, good. I feel like if we had the Enigma, we would probably actually be triggering that uh, gas a lot more often than we have been. So it's probably a good thing we swapped it out for the cube gun for a bit, right? I don't know. I'm, I'm literally trying to justify my own thoughts. Okay, there is a room just in here. Ah, that is a sheer drop. Good to know. Okay, we're going through with the cube gun. Boing! Nice. Ah, there's another one right here. Love that for us. And boing! Excellent. Uh, let's continue around. Go, Doggo! Annihilate! Use your annihilation uh, tactic. <laughs> We're running like an absolute idiot. Okay, we got to jump up here. We don't have much of a choice. And now we got to go this way. Oh, piss off, seriously. The death skull started accruing. Okay, we made it. We made it even though we had a backs up against the wall. We're doing a little bit of a vomit, which is uh, not the best thing in the world at all. Let's go through here. Okay, another little bit of vomit right there. And we are being corroded. Uh, let's dodge through that. Oh, this really. No! Okay, good. Death beam! Death beam! Okay, we got absolutely toasted by that. Uh, there's gas coming through. Okay, we want to basically just roll constantly through into here, right? If this thing can follow us, we're in a bad spot. Alright, we've basically made it through there. Oh, sucks to be them. Oh, piss! There's heaps of them! Yeah, this ain't good at, at all, is it? Good, I'm literally gonna burst this thing to death on the elevator. Oh my god, we have 12 rounds for the, for the main gun! Oh no! Let's use an ammo box. Excellent. Whew. Okay, did we gain enough time for a quick respite? Did we die? Oh, there's a lot of areas down south side that we didn't actually get to interact with, is there? 
So thanks, Rita. Oh, hey, guys. What's good? Okay, you take that one out. I'll take the crab out. And now we'll both focus on this wanker. Nice. Good anti-wankering. Okay, we got to disable all of this gas, right? It is bad. It smells like farts. Ooh. New trait. That's going to be useless. Uh, let's check it out. Perception. This one right here. So, increased taste and slow. Okay, so we actually have to... This just ties into the whole thing that I was talking about earlier, where I feel like the game is trying to get us to synergize a bunch of buffs, which is actually, believe it or not, which um, ended up tanking Payday 3. Payday 3 relied on buffs for you to be playing the game at the harder difficulties. Okay, I don't actually want to leave the dungeon. I just want to dissipate the gas and go back down. Is that really too much to ask? I am pretty happy with what we ended up with. I think we go up top side and we uh, check out the other side of this factory in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist for Remnant Dark Horizon that I have made. And right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. Down in the description of this video, you know what you're going to find. If you've seen one of these videos before, you're going to find a link to my Discord and a link to my live VODs channel. Why don't you go sub to both of them? And of course, until I make the next episode, I will be seeing you in the next episode or stream that I make. And for me, at least for now, it is lights out.